day today, sun shining, spring's coming and we've decided to do some soil tests in the garden. I know it's a bit late in the season but uh, better late than never and it'll give us an idea of where to plant and what for the coming season. Today we are doing soil sampling, so what we need to do to do some soil sampling is dig down about six inches taking those soil samples we've got seven samples I think five from around the current garden um, in different areas one from our new growing area and then one from our homemade compost out of curiosity to see what that one comes out does the soil test kit that we're using today is one I bought last year you can there's a variety um, of, of kits out, available out there um, I'll leave it up to you to choose which one you want to get um, have a little look at reviews and all that you know we'll just be doing ph today we'll also be doing nitrogen phosphorus and potassium but we'll i'll do that in another video otherwise it might get a bit complicated with the seven samples um and we'll see what we've got we did do amendments last year with lime because we've got quite acidic soil so we'd like to see where we are this year i know it's a little bit too late to go amending this year for this year's season growing but it will give us an idea on the ph in the different areas so we can uh, grow crops which are more suited to those ph conditions and work on changing the ph over time okay let's get started then okay so here i've got my samples it's going to be backwards for you a lot on the camera but to me we've got Sample one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we've got five samples from the old garden, like I said, one sample from the new area and our compost out of curiosity, homemade compost. Okay. So on my test, I have to fill up soil to the one mil mark. I don't know if you can see that on there. to do that with all of them.
So they've all got one mil of soil in. And now I need to add, I need to add one mil, um, one spoonful of the pH powder that they give you with the test kit. And this is the little spoon that comes with the kit, it's cute. So I'm calling that one spoonful and it's uh, apparently it is barium sulfate. Now we need to add some of the pH solution and uh, the instructions say to add it to the 2.5 mil mark on the tubes. So I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but I'll just do it on the table. Shake for 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to get a pen and paper. <coughs> and what the our soil kit says is like, I don't know if you, you can see that that one is separating out already and you can see the colour. Can you see the colour? Okay, so I brought you down here to see if you can see the colours a little bit better. So we've come to the conclusion that this one is 7. We've got between 5 and 5.5. This one is unclear, so we're going to retest. This one is 7.5 plus. This is 6. And this is another 5, 5.5. And another inconclusive so we're gonna have to repeat that interestingly one two three and four have all had lime application in the past possibly a little bit too much there that one looks okay that one's probably the best and then this one has never had any lime just uh, manure but yeah, manure, which was two years ago. A year ago. A year ago. One year ago, manure. That's the new field. And that's our compost again. We're going to have to repeat that. I can see a little bit of green coming on top, but not enough really to, to make a, a judgment on pH. Okay, we're just going to repeat those then. Okay, we retested sample number three and sample number seven 
and as you can see we've got a result here and according to my pH chart this is pH 6 and this one over here is pH 7.5 plus. We've got a variety of pH, pHs so we will continue with our plan of planting suitable crops in their suitable pH areas. The two problem areas we see are as number two which is funny because we grew runner beans there last year and runner beans notoriously like alkaline soils and they grew pretty well but they did have a slight sort of deformity towards the end of the season where the pods were um, bulbous at one end and apparently that can be due to pH problems so that that tells us the story there and then this is our new area of garden so I think what we will do is end up um, applying some lime as an amendment prior to the season planting which is probably about eight weeks away anyway because we have to fill up our old growing space first okay okay so if you manage to stay with us through all of that video you could also you could do it another way a different way yeah definitely. you can use one of these a ph probe and it also does temperature light and moisture the interesting thing i found about this is it actually gives me different results from the soil test that i did at, in at, in the house at the kitchen table with the chemicals yeah the soil test it's different so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write down my results from that test and i'll write down the results from this and we can compare those i prefer okay so these are the comparison of the um the different so we've got the the liquid test kit that we did in the kitchen and then the probe so you can see that there's a slight difference between the methods um you know i don't know what the range of error is between the two but you know that they're pretty much within the only one the only anom anomaly is this one and this is quite far apart i suppose too so the only thing that um, I'm, I'm thinking we should do is take an average between them um, and amend then appropriately or, yeah, amend appropriately there. Thanks for watching, Daddy. Thanks for watching. We hope you found it interesting and stay tuned so you can see what we're going to plant where, the new garden that we've just dug out and to see if uh, our pH amending works. And if you've got any advice, um, any thoughts why the two methods have produced different results, then perhaps drop it in the comments below. And guys, we'll see you later because we're gonna do a video of putting um, eggs in the incubator. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye guys. Don't forget to, to to press the subscribe button. <laughs>